that the sun is about 4.5 billion years old. It has currently used up about half of its nuclear fuel, hydrogen. In about 5 billion years from now, the sun will begin to die. As the sun grows old, it will expand. As the core runs out of hydrogen and then helium, the core will contract and the outer layers will expand, cool down and become less bright. It will become a red giant star. In this era, the sun will have swallowed Mercury and Venus and possibly Earth. If not, however, Earth will become a hellish planet with lava flowing on its surface. After this phase, the outer layers of the Sun will continue to expand. As this happens, the core will contract. The helium atoms in the core will fuse together, forming carbon atoms and releasing energy. The core will then be stable since the carbon atoms are not further compressible. Then the outer layers of the sun will drift off into space forming a planetary nebula, thus exposing the core. Most of its mass will go to the nebula. The remaining sun will cool and shrink and it will eventually be only a few thousand miles in diameter. The sun is now a white dwarf, a stable star with no nuclear fuel. It radiates its leftover heat for billions of years. When its heat is all dispersed, it will be a cold, dark, black dwarf, essentially a dead star. 